Hi, it's Rachel from Tea and Forget Me Nots. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I bought this bookshelf on Facebook Marketplace for £15. These bookshelves are really popular for me, so it was an insta buy when I saw it. It was in pretty good condition and didn't need too much work done to it, so I started by giving it a good clean with white lightning. The few dings and dents that it did have, I filled in with Dixie mud and then sanded back so that the surface was nice and smooth. My initial plan was to whitewash the shelves, so I sanded them back to raw wood so that the whitewash would have the most impact. Uh, this didn't actually go to plan as, as you'll find out. I chose the light pink paint conch by Dixie Belle Paint for the rest of the bookshelf. I thought this would make a really lovely contrast to the whitewash shelves. I started by painting the back of the bookshelf where there were ridges and used a paintbrush and roller at the same time. I used the brush to get into the back of the ridges and then a roller to smooth out the excess where it went over the edge. People often ask whether to paint the back of a piece of furniture and in this case I did because it was orange pine and would have stood out compared to the pink and what was going to be whitewashed shelves. I only needed two coats of the pink as it had really good coverage. I then turned it upside down and made sure there was a coat on the bottom and the legs. I painted the bottom just because it gave it a nice all round finish, even though you'd never see it. To protect the back of the bookshelf from the whitewashing, I used some frog tape to cover across the pink that I'd already painted. I was really excited to try out Fusion's Liming Wax for this whitewashed look. Not for the want of trying, I did several coats of Liming Wax and white wax on top and it just didn't give the effect that I was hoping for or pictured in my mind. So fortunately for the sake of white spirit, I took it all off again after lots of time trying to fix it and decided to go with plan B or maybe C. As we'd gone back to raw wood I needed primer before I was going to add paint so I used Dixie Belle's Boss in clear and mixed it slightly with white paint to hide the knots in the pine a little better. I then covered the top and the shelves in two coats of salt water to give an opaque white finish. And after that, I decided to paint the top conch as well. So, you know, we got there in the end. All's well that ends well. And to finish off the piece, I gave it two coats of satin clear coat with an extra coat on the top where it needed the most protection. So slowly but surely, and with a one or two changes of plan along the way, we have the final piece. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.